Hey guys, welcome to BT Travel. I'm your Bayesian tourist, Natasha King, and today we are in Horse Hill St. Joseph, and we are at Cottage Bar and Grill, and we are about to have some really good food. I can't wait to check out the menu. They've got breadfruit bowls on the menu. We're gonna actually see them roast the breadfruit bowls. I can't wait. I'm hungry and I'm excited, so let's get it started. Cottage Bar and Grill is serving up cool vibes and great views along with what's on the menu. Perched on a hill in Orange Cottage St. Joseph overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, it's the perfect place to get together with your friend bubble. Cottage Bar is the brainchild of well-known Barbadian DJ Eric Johnson aka DJ Blank whose roots run deep in this countryside community. Eric, tell me about this place. Okay, all right, so first of all, this is Cottage Bar and Grill. Um, welcome to my home, as I always say when I invite people here. Uh, we're overlooking the East Coast, beautiful views, beautiful ambience, beautiful vibes, of course, fresh air. I mean, come on. Can't uh, beat it. Can't beat it, no. Definitely good food, we have amazing cocktails. Um, it's definitely a must try and you definitely won't be disappointed. But how'd you come up with this? We all know you as DJ Blank. Right. How did you decide to, are you from St. Joseph? How did it come about? Well, actually I am from St. Joseph. This is actually my neighborhood, my community as well too. So, um, shout out to Orange Cottage, right through. And that's where the name came from, of course. Orange Cottage, Cottage Bar and Grill. Uh, so basically what happened was, uh, being in entertainment for so long, it came as just a natural thing for me. Now the story behind here is that it was actually my grandparents' place. Uh, there were so, there were such great people in the community and they used to take care of, you know, everybody, make sure everybody have a good time, much like what I'm doing now. So, like people from years ago still come here and they're like, wait, you know when Miss Johnson or Mr. Johnson was running this spot? That I'm like, yeah, my name is Eric, because we have the same last, um, same person last name, me and my granddad. So people are like, wait, Eric, you, you, Eric Johnson, grandson? And it, it was, it's just always a phenomenal feeling, indescribable, honestly. How did you come up with the what to put on the menu? Okay, so it started uh, when we first opened. Like I said, we just used to run from the evening into nighttime. We used to bring some DJs. It wasn't more, it wasn't any social distancing that needed to be in place or whatever. So it was uh, originally targeted specifically for my community for them to have something to do because we don't really get much stuff to do uh, and I just kind of found a way to uh, develop it to obviously find a good balance between catering for the locals and catering for obviously the tourists that we have now start coming back in. Uh, the menu specifically when I first started my mom was the one working in the kitchen she just used to do wings, fries, you know, the general stuff and then I had a friend of mine who was a chef, his name is Chef Eddie, he's our head chef here now. He we, we kind of came up with the idea to start the breadfruit bowls, that's how it started. They were actually flavor bowls initially, that's what we called them. And uh, he just came in, we were doing the bowls, my mom was still doing her thing. Bowls were just one day. And then I decided, you know what, this is after COVID, well, during COVID, uh, last year or so, we decided, you know what, I think that we may need to switch it up so that obviously we could, you know, capitalize in the daytime, right? Uh, we brought in Chef Eddie. Amazing guy, uh, he developed the entire menu. Uh, we, we just would have done some tastings and seeing what makes sense and not trying to put too much stuff so people get confused. Still implement the bread fruit bowls so it doesn't really uh, drown everything and have it every day. So we just do bread fruit bowls on Saturday from midday until about 6, 6.30 p.m. And then the, uh, the rest is just, you know, some other stuff that we thought that would have been fun. Cause that's where, what we were really about here. You know, having fun, clean vibes. Food. Amazing, and but I I don't want to pat myself and and the chef on the back. You need to come and try it and let me know. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it a try. Awesome. Me and my crew, we're going to give it a try. Sweet. And um, we'll let you know what we think. Thank you. I look forward to hearing the reviews. Okay. Awesome. Time to test out the cocktails and have a look at the menu. Decisions, decisions. Will it be breadfruit chips, the mac and cheeseburger, the pigtail platter, or some loaded fries? Hmm, the scent of roasting breadfruit was definitely calling, so I'm going with the pigtail breadfruit bowl. In Barbados, we have a saying, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, so time to put our taste buds to work. The crew wasted no time digging into their dishes, and from the looks of it, no one was disappointed.
So that's it. We've had a great afternoon here at Cottage Bar and Grill in St. Joseph. And let me tell you, I thought the food was pretty good. What did you think, guys? It was great. great. So you heard it. You know what to do. Come down to St. Joseph. Check out Cottage Bar and Grill. That's it for me. I'm Natasha King, your Bajan tourist. See you next time on BT Travel.